this event on this um, special day for me, maybe for you, I hope for you, <laughs> uh, because there's a new His Gold Messenger record out um, <laughs> called Terms of Surrender, and so I'm very, I'm very happy that school kids invited me to, to, uh, to do this little thing here. And so I'm going to play a few songs um, from the record, and... I come up here sort of set list list. So we'll see. We'll see what I can think up to play. <laughs> uh, how many of you have heard the record? Okay, a lot of you. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. A lot of you have heard the record. You know what you're getting into. Um I'm going to play this song that, that I wrote um, 
over the past couple of years when I was thinking about this place uh, that I used to go drink and socialize in San Francisco, in the Mission District of San Francisco called the Up the Uptown. It was a dive bar called the Uptown. And um, back in the day, it was at 17th and Cap. If anybody knows the Mission, I moved there in 1998, and it was extremely uh, it was extremely hazardous to your health to <laughs> get to the place. Um, there was a lot of there was a lot of guns around at that time. Um, but once you pass through the doors, it was one of the most beautiful, um, beautiful bohemian places that, that any of us could hope to, to learn about what it meant to try and be um, an artist. Um, so this is my little, little tune to the uptown.
Um, this is the this is the first song that I wrote for this record. It's called My Wing, yes. and um, I wrote this um, I wrote this in a in a little town in Virginia called Arrington. And uh, I had gone up there to try and uh, do some writing. I was staying on this big chunk of land, the same place. If anyone's ever been to Lockin, have you ever been to Lockin? Anyone? Right there, he has a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> right there, representing. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, so imagine Lockin, but without all the dirty hippies. <laughs> Think about how beautiful it would be then. <laughs> the hippies out. I love hippies. <laughs> you know, we need hippies. Hippies are great. Um, so I was in touch with the uh, folks at Lockin who have been really, um, really beautiful friends to me um, over the years, and and I heard that they had some some structures on the on the land, some cottages, and they said, yeah, come up. Um, nobody's here. You can come up and and use this um, use this place for as long as you want to write. So I went up there. And um, and I I saw some kids in here, and I don't want to tell tales. That are, <laughs> maybe I tell the stories and then leave it to the parents to. Yeah, do it. So, <laughs> Bring it. Kids are gone. Not listening. <laughs> so um, I went. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was in Arrington, and. Um, I had with me some fungus that you sometimes eat <laughs> to see visions <laughs> when you're trying to get out of your own head, which I was definitely trying to do at that at that time. Um, uh, not in a fun way, really, but more like I gotta get out of here. Um, so I, I ate a little of that, not a lot, just a tiny bit and I was standing out on this completely empty hill it was beautiful it was the fall and it was really cold and windy and um, I was standing on this desolate hill and I heard um, I heard voices like children's voices and um, I just stood there for a while listening to these voices and thinking that I was just tripping um, it, it actually was children. There was, a house. There, was a, there was a house that I couldn't see just through. The woods. But in that in that moment, um, there was something really there was something really beautiful about um, about being in this kind of liminal space where I I didn't know um, I didn't know if what I was hearing was real. But I wasn't scared of it. I was enjoying it, kind of. Um, and this uh, this song came came right then actually like then it was I wrote it and then an hour later it was done. Sunday morning, I've been lonely. 
It's a lot, yeah. and I'm also, you know, I gotta leave the fam. I gotta say bye to the fam again. Yeah. That's um, that's hard. It's actually getting harder. I thought it was gonna get easier. The older the kids got, it's somehow harder. I don't know what, I don't know what the math of that is. 